Welcome to the Young Turks on a Big Day! What is this? But first, uh, let me tell you guys uh, something that uh, we're launching now uh, that's really, really important. Um, I was talking to a reporter recently uh, and he was tracking how Bernie Sanders rose online. He's like, how, how did it happen? Uh, well, honestly, we were a decent sized part of that. And the mainstream media obviously was not. So we've been putting out that progressive message for 18 years now and we've done it with your help through membership and every once in a while fundraising drives like we're about to do, okay? tyt.com slash go. I'd love to raise 200 a month through the end of the year so we can get 2 million so we make things happen. Look guys, I'm gonna keep it super real with you guys. We don't have enough money. Look, I've been predicting that Bernie Sanders is gonna get to this point for a long time. Nobody believed in 2013, nobody believed in 2015, 2016, etc. But I'm telling you right now, Bernie Sanders is gonna win. I can't wait for him to be president. Will any of those guys ever apologize for all their lies and smears and all the oh Bernie can't win? That you're so incompetent, you should be immediately fired and taken off the air. Have you ever gotten anything right? You said Hillary Clinton couldn't lose. You said Joe Biden was the most electable. You said Bernie Sanders had no chance. Has any editor, has any publisher, has any executive editor at any of these stations gone, Hey, how come the guy on air is wrong every single time? I wonder if we should keep him on air. Do. They're paid to manufacture consent. 100%. And we're gonna beat them, Young Turks. Oh, oh, I, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a that few more funny. minutes. I got a few minutes. All right. Okay. Um, so we have breaking news. New York Times has just called Virginia for Joe Biden. We're gonna have a very long primary. It will not end tonight. They called it immediately. That must mean under normal circumstances that Biden won Virginia significantly. That is not good news. I can't imagine anyone in Northern Virginia voted for Bernie Sanders. They are the cesspool. Obviously later in the night we have bigger states, North Carolina, 110 delegates. Now, a lot of you have been writing in about our fundraising drive, which we desperately need here. I'm just being real with you guys. Uh, North Carolina, uh, the polls closed six minutes ago and it has been called. Joe Biden, the winner in North Carolina. Later tonight, there are much, there are, well actually much bigger states. Yes, Texas is much bigger. We're doing a fundraising drive, tyt.com slash go. Now 14% reporting in Virginia. So some these numbers are starting to get real. And Biden has a 30 point lead on Sanders. But remember guys, we're doing a fundraising drive right now. This election is everything. I just wanna give you a quick update. NBC News reporter saying, there's intense pressure on Mike Bloomberg to drop out because of party unity. So they say you cannot pressure Warren to drop out, that's wrong, that's very wrong. Meanwhile, Klobuchar and Buttigieg and, and Bloomberg, you must drop out, you must drop out to support Biden. Don't you dare pressure Elizabeth Warren. And Elizabeth Warren's team saying, "Oh yeah, if you pressure us, we're gonna stay in the race longer. Look, you guys continue to uh, do wonderful things. Uh, yes, tyt.com slash go, yes. If people dropped out in support of Bernie Sanders, who's the front runner, that would more arguably unite the party around the front runner. Now all of a sudden when it's inconvenient and you're worried about your goddamn taxes, all of you goddamn millionaires, I'm keeping it real. And like, oh my precious taxes, oh my God, Bernie Sanders is gonna help real people and not us. No, you have to help us, the elites, right? And they're all in a panic, their hair's on fire. Now you gotta support us. We have almost no money, they have all the money. Bernie can still win the whole night can still win way more delegates and can still come out ahead as the presumptive nominee and the clear front runner. Guys, we, we don't know if the revolution is gonna win tonight. Uh, another race has been called, uh, Alabama has gone to Joe Biden. Joe Biden is sweeping the South. Look, the reason, uh, part of the reason that the establishment is fighting tooth and nail is right now the establishment runs the DNC, the consultant class runs the DNC. So they can't have Bernie Sanders win because he might clean them out. That is, that's one of the things I dream about, you know? going in with Nina Turner and whoever else and relieving them of duty. You, 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 you and you, you're fired, get the hell out, that's it, okay? With Bernie, 40 point lead, I don't know, let's let this thing play out. With Joe Biden, 0% report, call it, it's over, everybody, Joe Biden, yeah, da, da, da. Oh, damn it. Uh, guys, this is end game, we either win and we uh, take over the party or we lose and we go back into the wilderness and these, the cackling uh, establishment will be gleeful. Virginia, on the other hand, 62% reporting, and that is very real. So uh, Biden there with 
54 to 23 point seven lead, so about a 30 point lead on Bernie Sanders. Uh, now I want to tell you about some of the big congressional races. I got to skip California 25. They will talk about it later. Could be a big race. I, I want to go to John here in a second, but remember everybody, we are also doing a, a, a drive here for Young Turks. We wouldn't ask it if we didn't need it, okay? TYT.com slash go, We're trying to raise $200,000 a month for the rest of the year. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but in the context of a media company, it just isn't. Virginia is gone, 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 92% reporting. Uh, let me give you the details there. Biden with a huge win, uh, 54 to 23 over Bernie Sanders. Elizabeth Warren comes in third there. Welcome back to TYT's special coverage of Super Tuesday. Joining us now is our very own Emma Bigland, who's in the Bernie Sanders headquarters in Vermont. Emma, thanks for joining us. Emma? Now leaning Biden by a tiny bit is Texas. Again, that's not real. Maine, he has a five point lead with only 2% reporting. Massachusetts, 10 point lead Biden does with 1% reporting. I, I shouldn't even read the 1% numbers. If these results hold, okay, what does that mean? They're tied. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're gonna be, they're gonna come out of, I think they're gonna come out of tonight basically tied within, yeah, there's a good chance they'll be within 20 or 30 delegates of each other, mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. over 500. You got a call, John? Fast. There is a call from NBC News that Joe Biden has won Tennessee. Oh, really? The, the, New, York, the New York Times has not uh, not called Tennessee. Yeah. Joe Biden said he was arrested with Nelson Mandela in South Africa doing protests. It's an outrageous lie. Stolen valor in terms of civil rights. I got arrested with Nelson. How could you not know? We're going to know you didn't, right? Because it only it shows that he's an unbelievable liar, and he's stupid. His senility happens. He's, he thought New Hampshire, the second state, was Vermont. All right, back on the Young Turks. Why do I keep saying that? Welcome to the Young Turks. He thinks it's Super thir Thursday. It should have come before Super Thursday. Chris Wallace, Chuck. Chuck, Todd. I mean, you can go on and on. He called the, Chris Wallace, he called Chuck. He, so thanks, He's, Chuck. Welcome to the Young Turks, Jake Huger. Uh, I was about to say Ben Manklitz. Yeah, you were. No, guys, it, it's it's real, it's real. He has mental acuity issues. You call it whatever you like. I don't care if the establishment media is, oh, are you offended? After all the things you've said about uh, Bernie Sanders and after all the things that you've hidden about Joe Biden, are you offended? I can see with my own eyes, we can all see with our own eyes. You think Trump's not gonna say it? In the world of the people I talk to, especially the, a lot of the older people, they like Bernie Sanders. They are they feel certain that he'll get crushed. So mm -hmm. that doesn't make them right. They're 100% uh, wrong. I got it, but you don't know either. Uh, and so I except mean, I've been right about almost every yeah. single part of it. Well, yes, you've been wrong plenty of times, Jack. I've been sad next to you more than anybody. You're you're you're, you're wrong. You're, I'm you're wrong. Right. I'm right a thousand times more than anyone on media, and they listen to those idiots okay, on TV. Uh, whatever, great. You're right all the time. Continue no, there is one way of knowing. Bernie's a nominee, and he crushes Trump. Okay, then we know, then we know, you guys are idiots, we were right, and you can kiss my ass. Okay, then we know, we know for sure, I don't wanna hear your crying, because we won the presidency. So even if Ben is right and tonight's a tie, um, Biden's not gonna make it. I'll say it now, he's seen off, so, he's not gonna make it. So I want that debate stage, this is I want not the Bernie point. We are the uh, alternative media, tyt.com slash go. We're doing a drive right now, we'll update you on that when we come back too. It is so important to keep us sustainable, especially throughout this election. Minnesota has been called apparently for Joe Biden. Minnesota was likely Sanders, at least leaning Sanders. Klobuchar then says no, go for Biden. Good on her, I don't mind her, she's a conservative Democrat. Joe Biden's more of a conservative Democrat, that makes sense, okay? And it affected the vote. But now, if Bernie loses Texas, everyone is going to declare Biden the winner of tonight, and they might not be wrong. Bernie Sanders, only 1% reporting, so, but a lot of these 1% have begun to hold throughout the night. North Carolina fluctuated, but Virginia did not. Bernie Sanders with a 12 point lead in Texas. Important update, so the 1% results in Texas were meaningless. We're now at 5% reporting. Biden with a has taken the lead with a 0.6 lead. Since Biden is going to have a much stronger showing tonight than originally expected, Going forward, we're gonna have trench warfare. And it is about to get way, way uglier. And we're gonna go to war, and a war like you've never seen. 
because progressives online are not gonna go quietly into the night. They're not gonna be like, oh, Joe Biden's senile, we'll let it go. So we're, and now we got mano mano, we got Bernie versus Biden, and we are gonna clash like you've never seen before. I think in the end, Bernie will lose. I don't, look, look, look. I don't, I don't no, even no, 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 guys, 2020 is everything. And we're in the middle of it right now. This is Super Tuesday, it doesn't get any more real than this. So uh, look, uh, fine, I'll do it. If the established media continues to lie about Biden's record, we all have to go and collectively kick their goddamn asses. I, of course not physically, we're progressives. But yes, we will be forceful. We're not gonna take your lies anymore. Joe Biden did not get arrested with Nelson Mandela. Who makes up a lie like that? An incredibly stupid person makes up a lie like that. An incredibly immoral person, stolen valor. That's what Joe Biden is, he's stolen valor. Okay, let me just, that that's a fine political tactic to take when you're trying to beat Joe Biden, unquestionable. And we will beat him. Okay, all right, but, but this movement is not gonna grow big enough for him to win. It might tear Biden down, but it's not gonna grow big enough for him to win without him doing something to quell the fears. I know, he's gotta create people. miracle after miracle after miracle it's to true. get past the mainstream media lies. It's true, it is true, Ben's telling the truth, it's true. But it is because he has to overcome the mountain of lies of the mainstream media. Yes, tyt.com slash go. Look, are you kidding me? We need to be sustainable in the middle of this trench warfare. Absolute dig in warfare against the establishment. But we didn't start the war. They'll lie about it again. We didn't start the war. They started the war. They've been lying about Bernie Sanders. For God's sake, on Castro, Obama said the same thing. No, get, shut up. Don't cover it. Don't cover it. Don't cover it. Obama said the same thing. And so you wanna go to war, we'll go to war. Biden is either near senile or actually senile. Watch any of the tapes. And we're gonna lose to Trump again and maybe lose our democracy? Hell no, hell no. No, Bernie Sanders is gonna win this race. And I'm telling you right now, and it's not just, hey, we, let's go fight, it's also a prediction. Biden is not capable of winning this, and I'm, we're not doing any brokered convention where they give it to someone who didn't get less votes. Not going to happen. Bernie Sanders is going to be the nominee, I'm telling you right now. And then, with redness in his eyes, and chants of meltdowns, and dame pesos in the chat, Jen Huger left the building. Stay right here. Yes, I have to go. Yes, Anna's coming, Ida's coming, Francesca's coming. We're going to do that throughout the night. Yes, we have California coming. Yes, I'll come back and Skype in later. And for God's sake, tyt.com slash go. We got to have enough firepower to be able to fight back. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Stay right here. Ben, John, Anna, right back. Ben, 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 John, Anna, right back. I hate politics right. sometimes. I really Again. do. So. I really do. And I hate the way people think. And it's not because I disagree with them, but it's because they think so simplistically without like digging a little deeper and like just, hey, here's how I feel about something. Right. Right? I don't care about your feelings, right? Usually I do a pretty okay job keeping it together if I need to like cry. <laughs> I'll just do it during a break and get over it and come back and do the show. I couldn't even keep it together during the show. We're in America and people are not encouraged to think that way well, or to be critical about their own feelings, right? Like dig a little deeper and see if what you're feeling about a certain person is actually correct. Biden, with all his gaffes, is going to have a very difficult time beating Trump. I don't care. I don't care if people get offended. His it's exactly what Jack said, <laughs> literally. Really? We're talking about the exact same thing. Because I yeah. mean, like, yeah. I, I can't lie to our audience because I want to be polite. It literally, we, literally, yeah, literally, 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 you guys I should will. cut those things out. It's so <laughs> cool. You guys said, like, almost exactly the same thing. And it was like, I don't want to be polite. I mean, he introduced his wife tonight as his husband. Sister. Oh, Vice sister? Versa. I think he mixed up wife. his sister and his wife. He mixed up his sister and his wife. Who hasn't? Bernie Sanders, not Bernie Sanders, sorry. Uh, Joe Biden. Okay, John, he has an important update, go. Yeah, I do, okay, it's a, one of the important races. It's Jenks race, so I wanted to give you an update on the data. That's why I was like, important update, important update. Okay, tell us. So we oh, we have 12.8% and uh, right now, at least with that vote, it is not looking great for Jank. Mike Garcia, the Republican, currently has 33.9% of the vote. Christy Smith, Democrat, is in second. Um, you have Steve Knight, Republican, in third and Jank. Uh, right now in fourth there. It's the first 12%, you never know, but obviously this is not where he would want to be at 12%. Um, 
You sound just so excited. So you, I so you, you, you had, had us. I'm not saying it's a good update, but I'm saying you're kind of here for an update, and then uh, it's this. What a Thanks, Sean, There's like day. three races <laughs> we care about. It's really great now. But I'm gonna be honest. Look, <laughs> I really miss Jink. Like I miss him here. I, I know it's a selfish thing to say. I think that he'd be super effective in Congress, and um, but. It's it's a win win. It's, it's not, a win win for me personally. It's not a self. You were just you were done with that yeah. that whole thing of me and you doing the main show. No, I love I doing see. the show with you, John. Okay. But like yeah. you're too. But not as much. And Jake, um, like <laughs> you never make me mad. Jake makes me mad, and I think it just I've I like I like mad. being mad on the show sometimes. And joining us right now is Jake Uger, who uh, ran for Congress in California's 25th district. Jake, thank you for joining us. Uh, no problem. Uh, I'm amused that it's already past tense. All right, Cenk, so uh, we uh, spoke briefly about the results uh, from the race yeah. and uh, Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so, first of all, please stop. I know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, the twelve percent that's reporting so far is from Simi Valley. Simi Valley is the most Republican, most conservative part of the district. We've got the voter information on our phones through this app. We didn't bother getting the Republicans. You are bigots. Fuck them already. Take the guns away. I'm gonna go kick Republicans' ass. It was in essence political terrorism, and it totally worked. Uh, and uh, we knew we were not going to get great results from there. Uh, I would have liked a little bit better, not great results from Simi Valley. Um, so uh, the preliminary results don't look good. Um, uh, I got it. We have votes still to count. Your uh, uh, was it worth it? Oh, it's uh, first of all, it, it was always worth it, but it's uh, it's way too early uh, to talk about that. We're really going to have to wait till like midnight or 3 a.m. to discuss that. I know that the first set of numbers are, are not good, right? Uh, but it really is, Simi Valley is a different planet yeah. than Antelope Valley. Go ahead, John. So we do have an unfortunate update. Of um, course. We'd been stuck at uh, like 12 and a half percent in the 25th District of California uh, primary. We've now jumped up to 45 percent. And uh, right now, the overall ranking looks very similar, but you can see that Christy Smith is in first at nearly 30% of the vote, uh, then two Republicans, and then Jenk uh, in fourth. Right? Great. Um, she'll do a good job undercutting uh, affordable housing in a state that's dealing with crippling uh, homelessness. So well, good and job, in all, in all, like She's the I've perfect never, corporate puppet. We all know this. So and enthusiastic to dodge have a debates. She's a wonderful, successful political career as a corporate puppet. Hey, guys. Uh, so... Um, Update on my race, I guess in the parlance of politics, gave a concession speech. Christy Smith's gonna win tonight, and it looks like Mike Garcia is uh, as well. First of all, uh, there were some long lines even in the afternoon in uh, Santa Clarita. I underestimated the name recognition factor here. There's new digital ballots. First of all, anytime you have a new system, there'll be some degree of confusion. You had to scroll down, you had to hit the more button yeah. to see more candidates. And then on top of that, it also takes longer because everybody has to explain to people, oh, you hit the more button, don't hit the next button. There were flaws, and even I like was like, like you hit next and you hit okay. And then you, and you're like, and then they're like, now you have to hit done. I'm like, hey man, next okay, I was done at okay. Really, uh, number one uh, is mainstream media. They just drill into everyone's head um, who they're supposed to vote for, who the legitimate person is. Uh, but yeah, I just, I, I wish that um, the mainstream media um, cared. Uh, they uh, they cared about the average person, and that they, um, you know, understood how hard it is uh, that for people to hope and and to work this hard uh, to try to effectuate change. And instead of making fun of that and belittling that, if they would glorify it, it would be amazing, mm -hmm. and humanity would be better off for it. I, I, honestly, I don't know why they want to work for the empire, right? Uh, so, I mean, it's called a Death Star, dude. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, when the final results are in, uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to love to gloat uh, about, uh, you know, w what happened here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, right wing establishment, and they will say it for the rest of time. And guess what? I'm going to try next time. And the time after that, and the time after that. Okay. And so, am I going to run again? Uh, no. Um, oh, thank God. So. <laughs> thank God. <laughs>